Having left Carthage behind for a lengthy journey, Aeneas and his people were once again on the island of Sicily, getting closer to their final destination. This time, they would encounter a welcoming village. There reigned Acestes, a king and son of a Trojan noblewoman. For this reason, the Trojans were warmly received in these lands. Juno, however, noticing that Aeneas was about to fulfill his destiny, dispatched the goddess Iris to poison the minds of the Trojans and the elderly who could no longer stand the suffering they had experienced for so long at sea. Before Aeneas could realize it, the women and the elderly had burned a substantial portion of Aeneas's ships as they wanted to stay there in Acestes' kingdom. The Trojan leader desperately stared at his finest ships burning. But Jupiter would not allow the elders to torch all the ships, threatening them with his lightning and thunder. That night, Aeneas was visited by his father Spectre, the old Anchises, who told his son about Jupiter's orders. He instructed Aeneas to gather the strongest warriors and the youngest and healthiest women, for them to board the remaining ships and finally reach the land the gods had promised them. After rounding up fresh supplies, Aeneas set off with his chosen men, leaving behind the old and sick and the women who did not want to continue. The ones who stayed would find a village named Asista after the king who had welcomed them. Aeneas' trip to Italy was smooth, as Jupiter had had enough of Juno's interference, forcing her to stop disrupting the Trojans' remaining journey. He also asked Neptune to temper the seas, making it easier to sail. Aeneas and his dwindling fleet reached Italy near the mouth of the river Tiber. This region was known as Latium, as the Latins lived there. Once ashore, the Trojans started baking large, flat wheat cakes, and when they used them as a table on which to serve other dishes, the young Asanias said, We are eating our own tables. The Aeneas remembered the harpy's curse, saying that they would suffer until they ate their own tables. Aeneas understood that this was the place where the Trojans would settle, as the gods had intended and these were the blessed lands from which they would raise a settlement to be the seed of the mightiest empire the world had ever seen.